there is a really common feeling among people where people feel like they're too old to learn mathematics. And this is something that is everywhere. So it doesn't matter how old you are. People always feel like they're too old to do X, Y, Z. You know, when I was 24, I was in college. That's when I started. And I thought that I was too old. I felt like I was the older guy in class. And if I tell that to someone who is 40 and they're in the class, they would look at me and say, hey, wait a minute. You know, you're only 24. I'm 40. I'm too old to be in the class. But if you look at that from the perspective of a 60 year old, (laughs) you know, same thing. They have the same feeling. So the thing is, you're never too old to learn math. It's never too late. There's that old saying, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Well, it turns out that this old adage is nothing but a myth. When it comes to learning math, I really think it's never too late to start. So imagine if you can, a person who never had the opportunity to study math in their youth. For whatever reason, they were never able to study it. They go through life feeling intimidated and intimidated by the subject, convinced that they can never grasp the complexities of mathematics. But then one day they decide to try it. They start slowly, maybe with basic arithmetic, multiplication, division, addition, And before long, they find themselves fascinated by the elegance of algebra and the beauty of geometry. And the best part is, you know, this person is is not alone, right? With, With the rise of online learning, there's more resources today available than ever before for people to study. So in this video, we're gonna discuss why age is really just a number when it comes to learning math and why it's really never too late to start. Which kind of leads me to my first point, which is keeping your brain active. A lot of people who consider themselves older are often concerned about keeping their brain active and they want to keep doing math. And so one of the biggest reasons why it's never too late to start is because it keeps your brain active, right? The human brain is capable of learning and retaining information throughout life. And studying math is an excellent way to challenge your brain and keep it active. It also improves your problem solving skills, right? So it doesn't matter how old you are, math is about problem solving. And so when you study math, it's going to make you better at problem solving. Maybe you're 60 and you feel like you know it all, but really nobody knows it all. You know, people think that age or rather wisdom comes with age. It's not necessarily true. I'm sure, you know, people who are older have had more experiences and they're wiser and they certainly think differently, but There's more to it than that, right? You have to learn from your mistakes. You have to improve your problem solving skills and and math can do that. You know, whether you're solving a math problem or a real world problem, the process is the same. And by studying math, you're improving your problem solving skills, which in turn benefits you in all areas of your life. It also builds confidence, you know, it's never, it's never too late to start because it builds confidence and that's something we all need. You know, when you finally understand uh, a concept, that you've struggled with for years, it is an incredible feeling. And as you continue to learn and improve, your confidence will grow and that will help you tackle even you know, more difficult problems. It also improves your financial literacy. So this is something that I think a lot of people don't think about, but you know, math is related to numbers. And so the more math you know, the more better you become at finance. You know, whether you're managing your own finances or helping someone else with theirs, Understanding basic math concepts is essential. And by studying math, you'll be improving your financial literacy and becoming more equipped to you know, make those informed decisions about your money. So I really think age is just a number. You know, whether you're 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, it is never too late to start. You know, by studying math, you can keep your brain active, you can improve your problem solving skills, you'll, you'll build confidence, and you'll improve your financial literacy. So I, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth trying. If, if you're thinking about jumping into math, you know, get a book. Here are some books. And some of these books might be free. Let me just show you these books really quickly because you can use these to learn math. Like this one uh, is really old. It's Coordinate Geometry by Loney. Uh, this is part one and part two. And I'll try to leave uh, links in the description to these books if I can find them. These are pretty hard to find books, but they might be free. Uh, this 
pretty good for beginners, I guess. There's there's better modern books for beginners, but this is considered a classic. So it's as a collector of math books, that's why I have something like this. But it's certainly um, you know, a little bit more uh advanced than some of the other beginner geometry books that you can find uh like on Amazon. And I'll try to leave a link to a good beginner geometry book for you in case that's something you want to learn. And this one as well, in case you want to collect math books like I do. So yeah, this one is free. It's, I believe, in the public domain. It's called Differential and Integral Calculus. It's written by H.P. Phillips, who was a professor of mathematics at MIT, and later he became, um, he became like, you know, the math boss. He was the chair of the department there. And this book is actually two books in one. So the first half of the book is, is Differential Calculus. And then the second half of the book is integral calculus and it's actually two books let me show you i to be careful with my copy here it is a collectible so there's the answers to the exercises for the first book and look here's the index for the first book isn't that weird how it's in the book I'll be careful and then look you got some blank pages and then <laughs> here we go the second book begins right how interesting is that so yeah and this is free it's in the public domain also this has answers to every single problem so that is super useful. So you can get a book like this, just Google it, or I'll try to leave a link in the description and it's free because I mean, I'm pretty sure it's in the public domain and you can, um, you know, learn, learn mathematics on your own at any age. Remember age is just a number. It doesn't matter how old you are. It is never too late. I had a, a teacher, a biology two teacher, which was a terrible class for me, horrible experience. My only C in college. I, I did get a C plus. In, in any case, it's besides the point. Uh, she had a math degree and she went back for her PhD in biology in her 60s. So I know this because I saw her on the elevator. She was teaching a college algebra class. So apparently she taught biology and she taught some math classes because, you know, in a previous life, you know, at, at some point in her life, she studied some mathematics and apparently enough to teach college algebra. So she had at least a master's degree uh, in, in mathematics. So never too late to go back, right? Never too late. I once had a guy in a class, uh, and he was really old. I asked, you know, has it, has it been a while since anyone, you know, has anyone here like not seen math in 10 years and someone raised their hand and this guy says 30 years, I haven't seen math in 30 years. And I was just like, wow, it's 30 years since this guy has done any equations, any algebra or anything. And he did really well. I think he ended up with, I think he ended up with a B, uh, maybe an A. Um, yeah, so never too late to learn math. Uh, he was he was an older guy. I think he was over 65. I don't recall how old he was, but he was at least 65. Never too late. So whenever you're feeling down and you feel like, you know, it's too late to learn math, just remember, age is just a number. Don't Don't let those mental barriers prevent you from exploring mathematics. I hope this video has been helpful and enjoyable. Until next time, good luck. Take care. Keep doing math.